You get songs cleared, old songs, samples, or voices from a song, like a sample, a, a chopped in word, chopped and screwed, you know what I mean? Like like Lil Wayne and Millie, like that one word, that chop in. If that was from a big song, a French Montana dang song, where he got Luke voice in it. Track Lib can help you get that shit cleared legally. They can help you get clearance on a song or a sample that you need. You know what I mean? So that's a good thing too. Even though they're taking 15%, it's still a good thing that they're offering that type of service, which a lot of companies don't offer. So that's a good thing. So all in all, SoundDrop got some cool features. I fuck with some of the things. I don't fuck with everything. You know what I mean? I fuck with the way they let you get your songs up there and it's up there forever for like $10. That's not a bad fucking deal. And I just recently heard that the SoundDrop company is a partner or I'ma say a kid to CD Baby. Like CD Baby is the parent company that owns SoundDrop. So SoundDrop got similar things to CD Baby, which would be your song up there for three to five years with no annual fee. That's some CD Baby shit. But $10 to distribute the song is actually cheaper than CD Baby. So fucking sound drop is actually cheaper than CD Baby when you think about it. But CD Baby ain't charged you 15% and sound drop is. But besides that, this company is not bad. It's a good place to go to put your fucking music out. You can put your music out for free on the website, direct your fans to come right there and stream your shit and get credit like that for nothing. That's all free signing up, just getting your shit on a platform in a real media base and getting your shit credited through publishing and licensing. So that's not a bad deal. That's not a fucking bad deal for free. That's for free. And if you want to distribute your shit to all the stores, pay that $10 and get that shit distributed and have it up there forever or for a five year period, which is a very good time and a very long time compared to a lot of other companies and get your revenue. They're gonna take 15%, but you're still gonna be able to make money. So it's not a bad option for artists, especially artists that is serious, but don't know how this shit gonna go, don't know their market, don't know how to market themselves, don't really know how to promote themselves, don't really know how to sell it to the motherfucking people. You know what I mean? It's a good stepping stone right here. It's a good place to start. Sound drop. And the payment shit every month, I really like that. Payment every fucking month, I love that. Most companies don't do that. Most companies be taking a long fucking time to pay your shit. You know what I mean? All the companies I'm down with, you know what I mean? I get paid good from them, but waiting that two, three months on that one check, man, that shit be hard out here, man. Nigga, nigga gotta come with a little backup plan, you know what I mean? A nigga gotta have like damn two to three jobs, you know what I mean? And two to three jobs, but damn, only one of them I can really talk about. You feel me? Gotta be some shit like that. You gotta really hustle and go get it in this situation. You feel me? Especially now with the pandemic and all that shit. Man, money tight right now. And everybody that's being an artist right now without all the shows and all the major shit, yo, money tight right now. Niggas gotta finesse what they can finesse. And streaming is one of the best things you can finesse right now. You know what I mean? It's fucking damn income. Income that you ain't gotta be working a job for. And that's the kind of fucking income you want. You wanna be making money when you sleep, not getting money every time you give up an hour or a minute or a second every day. So these streaming companies, these streaming platforms like SoundDrop, I salute them even if I don't fuck with them, you know what I mean? This company right here, I just started with this company, you know what I mean? I just signed up and I just put out a couple of tracks that I didn't release that were old through this company just to see what they would might do. You know what I mean? Just to see what they would do. But all in all, I never really fucked with this company till like last two, three months. And I've been doing good on my streaming shit because you got to have that streaming money coming in. You got to have that passive income, that money making money off your money, like investing money into getting your shit recorded, but always making more than what it takes for you to record. You feel me? All right. Now that's all I'm gonna give y'all for the day. This was my sound drop review. And I'm just keeping it fucking real with y'all, giving y'all some free game. Just putting y'all on this company. If you haven't heard of them, 
Just giving y'all that option. Check them out. See what you think. If you like them, fuck with them. If you don't, keep it moving. It's your boy, K to the fucking bird, urban legend, signing out. Free game.